The Bird Show. Should she narc because she knows what's going to be happening at the bachelor party this weekend and she knows the bride probably wouldn't be happy about it. And that's at least what she thinks. Uh, if you have a problem going on in your life or you want some advice from people totally and completely unqualified, uh, go ahead and hit us up at thebirdshow.com and we will throw it out to Bird Show fam all around the country. In this email, it's Bert Shoe. I always have a problem figuring out when I should speak up and when I should mind my own business. Typically, I always end up on the side of butting into things that are none of my business. <laughs> so, for that reason, I'd really like to know what you guys think so I can feel good about whatever I decide to do. My boyfriend and I are good friends with a couple that's getting married in a few weeks. We're both in the wedding, obviously attending the bachelorette and bachelor parties. Fortunately, neither of us uh, have had to take the lead in planning either one of them. Well, I know my friend, and I know she would be very upset if there were naked women involved in her fiancé's bachelor party. I also know that she's pretty certain that she doesn't have to worry about that because she doesn't think his guy's friends would even plan something like that. Well, it turns out she is very wrong. My boyfriend said that the best man has arranged for not one, but two strippers this weekend. Ooh. I tried to tell him that he needed to talk to the other guys out of this surprise because the bride would be pissed. My boyfriend said it's none of the bride's business and I need to keep my mouth shut. Thing is, I don't think the groom will like it either. So in this case, should I say something to the couple or just let it play out? From Dan Yell. one 855 Mo, where are we going with this? Listen, you know me. I'm the king of minding my business, and I feel like that's exactly what she should do in this situation. I mean, I don't see why she would have to butt into this and cause it to be more than what it already is. If this is what that man wants to do, whatever happens is on him. That don't, that's not on her. I don't think she should say anything. How about you, Dolly? She's making a lot of assumptions. She's like, my friend wouldn't like this. And I don't think that her groom will like it either. Mm -hmm. Well, don't speak for him. You're, <laughs> you don't know what that man wants. Right. And also, it's, I mean, maybe the bride will appreciate It's two strippers. Maybe he got like a BOGO deal. Maybe it's like a two for one. <laughs> Group on. Buy one half, get one half off or something. <laughs> and in that case, I would be really proud of my husband for getting a deal. Like, I love, I'm a, th I'm a thrifty bee. What can I say? Look, I, I Let's talk about uh, bachelor parties in general. I've probably been to 10 bachelor parties, right? One of them was out of hand uh, with the groom. was way out of hand. It was super long time ago, like 25 years ago. The rest of them, I mean, no. I, it's just, it's a bunch of dudes partying, acting stupid like dudes, no harm, no foul, right? Yeah. Um, most of them have had strippers at them, to be honest with you. Uh Look, here's how I feel about these two. Like, if, if, you, if you're nervous about your man being around naked women because you think he's going to cheat on you, this dude could cheat at the club on Friday night or Saturday night if you're not there. He, right. could, he could cheat at the office, right? Either you're marrying a man that you trust or you're not. And I hate this cliche. I, I trust him. I just don't trust her. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. No. Yeah. <laughs> you don't trust him. <laughs> you don't trust him, yeah. right? Now... I have no desire at all because I'm getting married in December. I have no desire at all for a bachelor party. There are some guys that are like, let's do this thing, right? So you know what? Maybe it'll happen. I have zero desire, and I will tell them this also, that I do not want naked women there at all. Not because uh, I think that I would cheat. It's just not my jam. I mean, 20 years ago, it might have been, you know, that sounds like fun, but... I know that Tiffany's really against it, not because she thinks that I'm going to cheat, but she's got a real problem, uh, and it runs deeper with, like, um, uh, what's, um, um... Like the sex workers versus sex trafficking, you know, like right that the, of, that the industry tends to breed sex trafficking, yeah. and she takes a very hard stand, and I respect that, but either way, it's just not my jam, so... Don't be nervous that your man's going to cheat at a bachelor party, because if he's going to do it there, he's going to do it anywhere. Certainly. He could definitely do it anywhere. And in my experiences with bachelor parties, I've realized two things. Like, one, they're not nearly as bad as women tend to think they mm -hmm. are. And two, normally the guy that's getting married is not even a guy that wanted to have the party. It's always his friends influencing him to do it. That's yeah. true. Every Everyone that I've been, like, privy of, heard about, or even seen myself, 
Um, stripper gets there. Groom is like, no, no, no. And then, and then there's all this like uncomfortable back and forth. And then, you know, the feisty guy at the party sits down and accepts the stripper. He's not the one getting married. Mm-hmm. He's just, he's like the third groom, groomsman, but he's like, I'll, I'll fall on the sword guys. Yeah, right. I'll get the boobies in my face, you know? And, and that's, and then the groom's like laughing at his friends and it's just a memory for them. I've seen a lot more foul things from bachelorette parties <laughs> because male strippers push the envelope. They get nasty. Mm-hmm. But, but you know, like, lady strippers tend to be a little more classy about it, in in my experience. And I'm like, I, I've seen worse things at, at bachelorette parties. I feel like 92% of the time, the groom's going to be like, I'm uncomfortable with this, and someone else is going to fall on that sword. Not 93, no. or 90, what, 92, 92 is the algorithm I'm, that feels right. I'm giving the guys the benefit of the doubt today. <laughs> Tracy, good morning. You're part of the Burt Show. Hi. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say, like, as the bride who found out about the bachelor party, it caused a lot of heartache, a lot of worrying, um, and it was basically over nothing. Um, I found out later that it was nothing really even to be concerned about. Um, So I would probably just say that it shouldn't be something that should be told to the bride. What was the heartache that it brought in your relationship? Well, um, well, I mean... It was just the fact that I didn't know. And, you know, you hear a lot of rumors of what could happen. So the heartache was just, you know, I I felt that he was going to be unfaithful. And and it was just all these assumptions. So that's what caused the heartache that my soon-to-be husband would go and do these things. And, you know, I just felt that he was going to be unfaithful, you know, at at, at that time. Right. Okay. I understand. uh, I appreciate you calling. Yeah, I I do think what you guys are saying is true. It's like mostly for the dudes in the bachelor party rather than it is for the groom, right? Thanks. They're the ones that book (laughs) it. They know how it's going to go. Hey, Nikki, good morning. Yeah, same. It's really for the groomsmen. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the bachelor... The bachelor party is for all the guys who may still be bachelors. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. That's exactly it. Yep. So in this case, we're all in sync here. Just let it go. Yeah. Don't get your hands dirty in this one. Yep, 100%. Worst case scenario, he gets some whiplash because those things hit him in the face a little too hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he's come, not going to cheat on you. Yeah, he comes home with a couple of bruises in the face. <laughs> he's a little black guy. Don't worry about it. You know, it got out of hand. The Bird Show.